It's past. Now we have new things. New things. Old traditions are past. Oh, that must, the old way in which men do everything by themselves. The old way that, well, we can do these things because there are some authorities controlling. There are some powers that are governing. These things are past. It's a new season. Let the old be old. Let the new be new. When you call something like old year, the word of God says, since there's a new, the old is decaying. It's ultimate. It's past. Hebrews 8.13 Now Christ has obtained more excellent ministry. But how much also is mediated a better covenant, which are better promises. Because the first covenant was 40. And because it was 40, God said, yes, the word of the Lord to Jeremiah. Jeremiah 31, 31 to 34. A day is coming that I will make a new covenant with the people. Not according to the one I made with them when they were coming from Egypt, which covenant they could not even keep and had disregarded it. The covenant is disregarded. Long ago in the days of Jeremiah, in this covenant, I will be their God and they will be my people. I will not remember their sins and iniquities again. In that he said, new covenant, he has made the old old and is decaying and rotting, smelling, ready to vanish away. So everything in that covenant cannot bring the will of God to you. The wishes of God cannot prosper in your life. The power of God cannot work by those covenants. As you are now in the new year, let things be new in your life. In your mind, break that power of slavery. Break that power of dependence on man. And let people depend upon you. You are going to take responsibility. You are going to take responsibility that I am the one to repair the old ways. I'm the one to build these cities back. I'm the one to raise this entrepreneurship for people to get jobs. You should not be chasing jobs. You should be creator of jobs. That's why God wants you to prosper because all these things require a heavy amount of money. You, if to do them requires what? Money. The mentality should change. I'm responsible for this. Because the word of God says that God promised Abraham to give him and his seed the world. He gives you the world, not just the money inside, the whole world. But not through the law. <laughs> this is where the problem is. The old covenant paralysis. But through faith in the Father. Very important. Three things are important to us here. Faith in the Father. Believe in the Father. And seek his kingdom and his righteousness. This is where the problem is. Seeking the kingdom of God. They are all messages that are preached. The gospel is the gospel of the kingdom of God. From it we receive the gift of righteousness. Which is the righteousness of God. What is in the message is that it makes you the owner of the world. So you have to take care of things that are happening here. It's not the politicians. And you look at yourself. Who am I? Yes. It's not you. Inside your body is the father. And you have to believe in him. For things to be done. Your only work is to speak. When you believe. So speak. What do you desire? Of course, those things should be good things that will happen to the world. Good things that will happen to even your own life. Good things to happen to you. Forget about health. So, oh, are you sure health is not important? Jesus said, if you believe in me, if you believe in me, you will not die, not even get sick. If you get sick, he said, you lay hands. You need to believe. 
in the Father. Let us speak. Continue to speak and change things. The other time we're praying that certain mentalities of our people should change. Yes, we are seeing signs. Because we are praying that. To pray doesn't mean to beg. It's a legal term. To pray means to plead that this thing should happen. If you go to law court and the attorney or the prosecutor pray the court for somebody to be sentenced to life imprisonment, he's not begging the court. He's using the law. It's a legal system. So your prayer is not, oh God, please do this. Speak it. Let this to be done. It's your plea to the heavenly powers because you are in charge. You are ambassador for Christ. Believe this. Get away those old chains. Those things that are bundling your mind. Keeping you as a slave as if you are nobody. And you see that your words will perform. God, the great God is in you. All the wishes you pray during the first night is when people hear the voice of God. But I pray that you will hear the voice of God every day. This is the first night that people go and pray and shout. When it is one minute to twelve, then you see every, everywhere is <laughs> hitting. Oh, their mind is still locked up. May God help us. May the grace of God open things up for you. May this season come with new things. Let the old things be bygone. Let new things, better things, replace them. In the name of Jesus. You are let this be. It's a powerful word you should not forget. Let it be. And the Father knows what you mean by let it be. Because he's ready to do exceedingly abundantly above everything you are asking or thinking according to his power working in you. Unto him be glory, not only in 2023, but in the ages without end. Ephesians chapter 3, verse 2021. God will bless you. And congratulations. In Jesus' mighty name. Amen. Amen.